welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. It is grocery haul day. Today I ventured out of my normal grocery shopping stores. I went out on a limb. I decided to do this week's grocery shopping at Target. Last time I was there, which you guys saw in my what I eat in a day that I posted this last Wednesday. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to link it down in the description box. But I went to Target and I looked around and I came up with some great food choices, WW friendly, good ingredient, unique foods that I hadn't seen anywhere else. So I decided this week to take advantage of that and do all of my grocery shopping at Target. So I have such a fun haul for you, all new exciting things that I found, as well as some old standbys and favorites. From there, I headed over to Trader Joe's, grabbed my produce for the week. I love their organic produce, the prices can't be beat. So I have quite the haul for you. We're gonna talk about my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So if you're here for the grocery haul, the meal plan and the meal prep, stay tuned. So here's this week's grocery haul. So I did my first ever grocery shopping trip to Target. It was great. They had quite a bit of things. There were a few of the things I really liked to get that they didn't have, but that's fine because I did head to Trader Joe's as well, which is my go-to for my produce. So let me show you what I picked up for this week's grocery haul. Picked up a bag of large cooked shrimp. I need shrimp for an upcoming recipe. And this actually was a really good price at Target. I was impressed. And then I grabbed a pack of the Good and Gather provolone cheese. My husband wanted uh, salami and bologna sandwiches. And I thought that provolone would pair really nicely with that. And there was a coupon on the Target app for Good and Gather brand. So I also decided to grab another bag of the Good and Gather organic. Colby Jack Cheese. This is such a great price. Actually, Target has the most affordable price on organic cheese that I've been able to find. So even cheaper than Walmart. So I grabbed that. We loved this pizza crust that I showed you guys. This crust is so good. It is point friendly. It gets nice and crispy when you cook it. It really is absolutely delicious, but it holds up when you go to take a bite as well. Great ingredients. It's $4.99 for two pizza crusts. Highly recommend. It is so good. And then I found this at Trader Joe's. This is new. This is the watermelon facial mist. Refresh and hydrate. She said that this is great if you have dry skin. You just spray your skin throughout the day. It gives it that nice boost of hydration. It smells really good. She also said that they have a watermelon mask that's equally as good. So I may pick that up next week, but this was only $3.99. It's seasonal. So if you're interested, grab it. I also grabbed another thing of half and half. My Organic Valley one was expired. There was hardly any left, but it had expired a couple of days ago. So I restocked that. Grab some pizza sauce for the pizza crust. The Trader Joe's pizza sauce has great ingredients. I had no idea. I'd actually never bought this. So I went ahead and picked it up. And I was so excited to see Trader Joe's pesto. Because if you guys remember a while ago in that grocery haul when I bought that pesto, that Delani or Delaney, it was like $9 for that jar of pesto. This is less than $5 at Trader Joe's and it's made with olive oil, no canola or sunflower. So I was so excited. So this is going to be my go-to pesto sauce. So if you are pesto lovers and you want a pesto with good ingredients that isn't $9 a jar, highly recommend the Trader Joe's. Also restocked my organic shredded mozzarella from Trader Joe's. Love this cheese. It's so good. And we like this on pizza, of course. Grabbed a container of the Del Monte No Sugar Added Mandarin Oranges. This is really for my husband. He likes to take these little fruit cups with him to work. And these are zero points. So it's a great on-the-go fruit zero point option. Turkey pepperoni for the pizzas. That's kind of been our thing. We like the mozzarella cheese, pepperoni olives, maybe some mushrooms. I've been putting fresh basil on the pizza, which is so good. So grab the pepperoni for that. My local farm that I like to get my eggs from, she doesn't have any. The weather's been really weird here. And she said it's affecting her chicken laying their eggs. So I decided just to grab these at Trader Joe's. I was going to get them at Target, but they didn't have any organic pasture eggs, none of that. So I grabbed these at Trader Joe's. 
picked these up at Target mainly for my husband's lunch. These are new. These are the carrot cake Oreos. It sounds so good. But we can certainly work these into our day if we save points for them. And I am going to try these on Saturday. The day that I use my weeklies, I'll have one. I'll try it, see how I like it. But mainly I got this for my husband's lunch. But I like to show you guys everything I pick up. You always ask. Everybody eats different foods. So I want to share with you everything I grab. Also for his lunch, I mentioned he wanted bologna and salami sandwiches. So this will be a perfect combination for him for his lunches with some of that provolone cheese. Four pack of two good vanilla yogurt. These were on sale at Target and I like to make my parfaits out of these. I actually really, really like this yogurt. It's not full fat, which I prefer, but I do really like this yogurt. It's delicious and it makes a fantastic parfait and great, great ingredients. You know, he loves his yogurt pretzels. So I restocked those for his lunch. These are really high in points. So I don't eat these, but I have tried them. They're really, really delicious, but he loves these in his lunch. So I grabbed those. Also for him at Target, there was a coupon for the new Lean Cuisine Life cuisine. So these are meatless meals, but this one is a Vermont white cheddar mac and broccoli bowl. So I picked this up for my husband, thought he could give it a try, see if he likes the mac and cheese with the broccoli. I also picked up this Purely Elizabeth chocolate and sea salt granola. Again, there was a coupon in the Target app. You guys, I broke into this. This is delicious. It has absolutely a fantastic ingredients. I mean, fantastic ingredients. Of course, there is a little bit of added sugar. That would be the only kind of not ideal ingredient. It's delicious. They had a blueberry and hemp. They had a chocolate peanut butter and another one. Uh, I love this. This granola is so good. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Now, if you're looking for a really clean granola, the um, Julian Bakery Pro Granola is the cleanest and it's only two points for an entire half of a cup. I know this one is way more points. Of course, it was here on the screen for you. Highly recommend Julian Bakery. My code here on the screen gets you 10% off and free shipping. But if you want an alternative, a little higher point, but delicious, the Purely Elizabeth, so good. I also picked up, I know this is kind of a weird purchase for someone with no children, but I was actually looking for graham crackers uh, to dip in that snickerdoodle hummus, that hummus that I bought last week at Target that you guys saw on Wednesday. It's so good, but I wanted something to dip into that. And then I also wanted something to take camping for like snacking and kind of doing like a s'mores parfait with a banana. I'll definitely be vlogging our camping trip that's coming up here in a couple weeks and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I bought the Graham Snacks, the Justice League. So excited. Um, so these don't have any corn syrup in them. They of course don't have absolutely fantastic ingredients, but hey, they're graham crackers and I wanted some graham crackers. So I grabbed those, which I'm pretty excited about. They're pretty cute. And then also I picked up this so delicious dairy-free organic coconut milk because there was a coupon as well for this and I wanted just a different milk to try. They did not have my forager. So this was a good alternative to that, has good ingredients. Also, you saw this on Wednesday too, these Partake gluten-free cookies. These are delicious. They're only two smart points per cookie. They are so good. They have fantastic ingredients. They also are gluten-free. You can basically have three cookies for 130 calories. Love, love, love these. They're a little pricey. It was $4.99 for this, but they're so good. So I had to get those again. Also, just because there was a coupon for this too, this is the Natural Bliss Cashew Milk, and this is in the original flavor. The issue with this, of course, is there's natural flavors, which you guys know how I feel about that, but sometimes a girl just wants some creamy creamer. So I grabbed that. And I also picked up a loaf of the buttermilk bread for my husband. This is actually a really, really delicious bread. Again, you know, he's having the bologna salami sandwiches. And then I saw these in the meat section and they were $3 off. So normally this is $7.99 a pound. This is $96 for Laura's Lean Beef. This is all grass fed, grass finished, really, really good quality hamburger. And with the $3 off, it made it only $5 a pound, which is $1.50 a pound less than the market side grass fed that I buy at Walmart. So 
killer deal. It did say you could only buy two. Now I maybe could have gotten away with buying more, but I wanted to save some for others. So I did grab two pounds of that just to throw in the freezer. Now everything else is produce that came from Trader Joe's. So a lime, I needed this for a recipe. Some organic sugar snap peas. Now these are on the dirty dozen list. Sugar snap peas are very, very heavily sprayed with pesticides. So always grab those organic if you can find them. Some green onions for a few recipes, some mushrooms. Uh, we can put some of these on our pizza and then I actually have a recipe this week that calls for mushrooms. I needed a couple of tomatoes and so I just grabbed this little four pack of tomatoes on the vine lemons for my water you guys know i've decided to do my lemons organic because i put the entire lemon in my water and it's the the rind of the lemon that has all the pesticides and that sits in my water all day so i decided to go ahead and go with organic i do wash them first as well grabbed a few bananas just to let these really really ripen to throw in the freezer for smoothies Bag of organic mixed baby kale. Again, this is going to go into the freezer. I'll bag these up and have them available for my smoothies. Some blueberries. I've been really into blueberries as fruits for the week. These blueberries have been so good. Finally, all this delicious fruit is in season. I couldn't be happier. I did actually get these cherries at Target. They had 35% off of these their cherries. So I think this pack, which is, how, oh, this is one pound. So this was $4.99, but then with the discount, it ended up being just over $3.50, which is pretty good for a pound of cherries. So I grabbed those and then a refill on the organic fresh basil. You guys, I used this entire thing last week on my wraps, on my pizza, in my salad. If you haven't tried basil in salad, it's incredible. So I picked up another pack of that. So that is my grocery haul for the week. So let's jump into my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. All right, so let's jump into this week's menu. I just actually looked on the Carrie L website. Unfortunately, they do not have their planners back yet. Like I mentioned, due to the virus, unfortunately, they had to lay off all their employees. It's a small business, husband and wife, and they just haven't been able to keep up with making the planners. However, they do have a closeout on a planner bundle. I don't think that it's the meal planner. Um, I'll put a picture here for you guys, but it is $29.99 under closeouts on their website. They do still have their printables. So if you are interested in at least doing the printable meal, planner it's a good way to get through until they're able to bring back the actual spiral bound so check it out on their website I do have 10% off so just click the link down in the description box at checkout enter my code and you'll get 10% off and probably even off the closeout bundle which makes that a killer deal so check that out so this is the week of a May 23rd through May 29th. So today is Saturday, May 23rd. We'll be going out to dinner. We support a local business every Saturday by having some type of meal out, whether that be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm going to be making pesto, shrimp, pasta, and veggies. You guys will be seeing this video in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. You don't wanna miss this video. Hello, pesto, shrimp, and pasta. Yes, please. Monday is always a leftovers night just because that is a night that I typically like to do the 430 Jazzercise class. Tuesday, I'm gonna do ground beef burritos. So we're gonna do a spin on a traditional Mexican restaurant type of burrito with all the fixins. So that's going to be delish. Wednesday is going to be mini turkey meatloafs with mashed potatoes. So these are just going to be smaller versions of meatloaf to help with portion control points. And we're gonna pair that with mashed potatoes, of course, with meatloaf. Thursday, I'm doing Asian meatballs with rice. I'm super excited about this. Gonna bring back some Asian flair. And then Friday, we're gonna do a leftovers night because I'm betting we're gonna have quite a few leftovers with these three recipes earlier in the week. On the back of my weekly menu here is where I plan for my meal prep. I just jot everything down on the back. So for breakfast this week, definitely stay tuned for meal prep on Monday. I have never done a chia seed pudding but this just isn't your everyday chia seed pudding. This one is going to be exceptional. So stay tuned on Monday for that. For lunch, I changed my mind and decided to do an Italian sausage sheet pan. I have some sausages from Costco that are so good. My husband doesn't like them, but I do. So I thought I might as well use them up and do a big sheet pan, which I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to throw everything on a pan, cook it all at once, roast it up, really bring out the flavors, and it makes a really delicious, well-rounded lunch. And then for a snack slash dessert, I'm gonna make peanut butter cookies, but they're going to be flourless and we're even going to dip them in chocolate. 
so you don't want to miss meal prep on Monday. So again, that is my meal plan for the entire week. And of course, I'm using my Cariel meal planner. And again, if you guys want to still support them, go ahead and use their printable version or even take care, take advantage of their closeout bundle. And again, the link down below, if you click the link, enter the code at checkout, you'll get 10% off. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. I hope it was exciting for you to see some hauls from a new store, some new items, some new favorites that I discovered last week when I was at Target. I may be bringing Target into the rotation for grocery stores because again, I really liked it and I thought with the Target Circle app, the prices were super affordable. And of course, you can't go wrong with Trader Joe's. The video where I did my first little Target exciting new haul, again, is linked down in the description box. Also in the description box, you will find the link to come over and take part in my website. Join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. And all of the links and discount codes to my favorite things are also down in the description box. If you're new, welcome. I do a grocery haul every Saturday. So make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and Saturday is always grocery haul day. Give this one a big thumbs up if you liked the change of pace of today's video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you. Have have a great weekend. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams.